What is going on YouTube? Now today I'm going to be sharing a video on my training from the week. I was going to share a big video of me ranting and doing my training for the week, but instead I'm going to separate into two videos. So one today of just my training from the week. So I've got as much footage as I can this week of training to share with you guys so you can see what I'm doing, how I execute movements, why I train the way I do, what I'm doing, what rep ranges I use, etc. etc. So if you want some training bombs, ideas, what you can do in the gym to try and work towards performance goals, strength goals, body fat goal, like losing body fat, like what, this works for it like all. Um, and if you like parts of it, then put it into your programming. And if not, then don't, but give it a watch. Let me know what you think. And tomorrow's video will be on stop overcomplicating things. So these videos will go in quite nicely together because there's things that have been in this training program that you might think is overcomplicated. It doesn't need to be in your program if you think that. You just need to train in the way that you enjoy. Same with your diet, and that, that's what I explain tomorrow. So. Enjoy the video guys, I'm going to run a commentary the whole way through explaining what I'm doing, what I'm doing and hopefully you can take something from it and have a great day, enjoy your weekend and I will catch up with you in the commentary, cool. Okay guys, welcome to the commentary, so I'm going to run you through some training footage that I've got from this week, now this is going to be about just over 10 minutes of training footage from the week, so I've tried to get as much footage as I could of my sessions I've trained five times this week so far and I'm going to run through what I'm doing, why I'm doing it and this was from the, I believe, the second session of the week when I trained legs I missed training most of the first session um, but the second session I did, went through the whole session and then I finished off with this conditioning circuit so it was eight deadlifts at body weight so it was at 80 kilos even though I'm a little bit lighter than that now and then 16 box jumps. So that was performed for six rounds as fast as I could, and that was a killer. Definitely worth a try if you want to try something to get the heart rate up and work on obviously deadlift execution and that explosive power. And my legs in after this were in bits, and this was after a session of squatting. Um, I'll have to try and find about, I think I've got some footage, but I will not share it in this video. There you go. Right, and then. This is from Wednesday, so this, that was Tuesday, this is Wednesday, I did a push session um, and as you can see in this dumbbell press I've got a slight issue with my right shoulder and my right wrist, hence why the right hand side dumbbell seems to be all over the shoulder, which I didn't really notice was that this bad until watching the video back and this is largely due to the fact that on Tuesday I did some pad work for the first time in a long time and my forearms since then have been really really sore um, just as in, from impact of beating the pads um, so yeah gripping the, the dumbbells was a little bit difficult and I can see that in the back in this video um, but it feels all good now then I moved into a barbell overhead press and I like to do these sometimes with the pins in place like they are here so I rest the weight at the bottom and then drive the weight back up because obviously my grip at the moment this time wasn't very good so I wanted to maximise the amount of volume I could get in on my shoulders with the most weight I could, so this was the best way of doing it. And when you haven't got a spot, sometimes this is a safer way of pressing overhead. Um, yeah, I find it a lot safer, so give that a try. Put the pins at like a shoulder height and work through that movement from there. Dead stop, big drive up, always controlling the negative down. And from there, I'm moving to a narrow grip Smith press. So I've, as you can see, I've gone from chest exercise into shoulder exercise into tricep exercise. So that's how I like to organize my push session um, and on here you can see my grip isn't too narrow which is something that I've tried to encourage on my Instagram this week and on Facebook don't take your narrow grip press too narrow keep your grip like a shoulder width apart and just make sure your elbows are tucked in and then all the tension will go through your triceps you are going to get a little bit through your chest and shoulders but the majority of that tension will go through the triceps when you do it this way like always controlled negative big drive up and from there I move into a seated side lateral and the phone goes almost over um, I've done a lot of filming this week on my phone and on my Canon. I've got a Canon 1200D, so if anyone knows anything about cameras, I'm looking to invest in a better one. I've, I haven't trained yesterday with a guy who's got who's big into his cameras, and he's just laughed at the quality of my camera, so I think I'm going to get a new one. So I'm, I'm doing a lot of filming now, so I think it's worth getting a good one. If you have, if you have any recommendations, then give me a shout. But after that movement, we moved into a tricep rope extension. I actually think I did this last, and I think I've changed the order of the filming, but um, 
yeah, I like these towards the end of a the workout. They're like an isolation movement. I don't concern myself with in the in the early phases of the workout when I'm at my strongest, but in the, towards the end where I'm feeling pretty beaten up, I then like to do these things like this, just to try and drive more blood flow and more volume into that muscle group. Um, but yeah, so that is why I put these in. I think I took the reps up to about 15 reps on these, but normally when I'm working for strength, it's anything between five and 10 reps, normally between six and eight. And then when I'm working for more towards the end of a session, it'll be up towards 15 reps. And this is all about trying to get that volume in. Um, moving into a seated dip. Um, again, another trial of exercise, but this hits the chest a lot as well, which you can even see in this video. My chest in the middle is really firing up. Um, I like this movement, but for me, the, my favorite tricep movements are the dip and the narrow grip press. They're the best for arm development. And I'm gonna be doing a video next week on arm training. So if you want to obviously watch that, then keep your eyes peeled. Make sure you hit subscribe then, and that way when it comes through, you should get an email saying that I've posted a video. And then after that, we went into a pet fly for chest. And I believe this is one of my last movements of the day. Um, yeah, and this session was pretty good as well. My strength seems to be maintaining quite nicely. Normally when you drop body weight, like a huge amount, you'll, you'll find it hard to keep strength for us at, but obviously where I had some time off at the beginning of the year, it, I'm still finding that my strength is actually building, I'm actually getting stronger. Um, whether that will stay the case for the last four weeks of prep, I'm not too sure, but I'm definitely going to try and beat the logbook and try and focus on really performing well and getting numbers up. But that was at the end of that session. After that, I went for a 5k run, which turned into a 9k run because my new Apple Watch didn't like to track things how I wanted it to, it's basically had a, had a mare, but it was all good. And as a result, my legs have been completely ruined since. And then, so this session was a upper body dynamic session. Started with a bench press and we did three reps every minute on the minute for 10 minutes at 95 kilos, which is hard, but we got it done. And then I did a single arm row for four sets of six reps. They were the two big loading movements. And then we went into um, a tricep. Uh, where we did these, like, they're almost like a handstand shoulder shoulder press movement. I'm building up into doing handstand shoulder press basically. Um, so this is the build up to it. Um, I haven't done it before, so this actually felt quite good. Uh, I did three sets of 12 of these and I went straight into a dumbbell pullover. And then straight into the next exercise where I've got the bar in like a bench press position and I'm doing leg raises from side to side. Which the name of the exercise has completely left me. Dragon. No, not Dragon Flags. What is the name of that exercise? I completely forgot. But I'm not restarting this commentary because I'm already over halfway through. I'm trying to just figure out what it is. So, yeah, dumbbell pullover, really good back exercise for that, massively three abs as well. And straight from that, I went straight into this exercise here. Barbell wipers. I knew it would come to me. So yeah, these are awesome exercises for the core. Yeah, first, if you can't do it holding weight above your head, then hold someone's legs behind you and just go from side to side. And you can even bring your legs up to them, they can push them, throw them down. That's awesome for work, working that core really hard. And then once you get to a position where you can do this, as you can see my grip, so George, take this weight off me, I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> completely failed them. From that we went into a barbell curl and this was, we did, me and George did five sets of 10 reps, you go, I go. So I did 10, he did 10, I did 10, he did 10 for five sets. And by the fifth set, these, these were really hard. And as you can see, the bicep vein is going up through my neck. So conditioning is coming on well, body fat's coming off and I'm really happy with the progress that I'm making. And that's got four weeks now to really bring it in and coming on stage of the best I've been so far. And then after that, we went into the conditioning, which was 30, 20, 10 of dips, press-ups, and sit-ups. So the first round is 30 reps of each, and then you complete 20 reps of each, and then you do 10 reps of each. So obviously the reps come down, and obviously thank God, because the first set was brutal, and I managed to bang out 30 dips in a row. I'm used to doing these with a belt, um, but when I go back from traveling, like even bodyweight dips were hard. So I'm so happy with where my strength is at with, with dips. And then press-ups. I broke the press-ups into sets of 10, I believe. But the quality of these press-ups is not exactly the best. Like I'd like them to be a lot more strict. But when you're doing that much volume, 
just wanted to get them done. And by the end of this session, this was like a 50 minutes into the session, I just wanted to get this done as fast as I could. Um, so yeah, like this was 20, this was 30 reps, and then there's 30 sit-ups afterwards. And then you go through the whole thing again, and you do 20, and then you go the whole thing again and do 10. And the idea is you time it, and then the next time you revisit this part of the conditioning workout, you try and beat that time. And as you can see, but the order of exercises I probably should have changed, I probably should have done dip, sit up, then press up, then the arms were a little bit of a rest, but then the minute I go back into dips anyway, then they're going to suffer, so it was brutal. And then bang that, the sit ups, we did crunches rather than full sit ups. And the idea with these is literally just to stretch the abs and then shorten them every time. Stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze, and bang out 30 as fast as I could. And then I believe we stopped filming after this and went into the sets of 20 and 10 as fast as we could. And we got it done. And annoyingly, like most of my conditioning, I actually forgot to time it, which would really piss me off. So I can't give you a time for that. Then this was the last session of the week yesterday. I did a pool session. Um, we had Young Hugh on filming us. So there's going to be a cool edit going up sometime next week once he's got it put it together. And we started off with a pull up, which I didn't film, but you'll see that in the edit, I can imagine. Then we did some heavy rap pulls. I only got a little bit of filming from yesterday, because obviously we were being filmed as it was. So we went up to 220 kilos on rap pulls, and then we went into Dumbbell prone row, super set up with a banded pull apart, like a rear delt band pull apart, which is an awesome movement. And really good for shoulder health as well, where I've been getting a few niggles here and there from lots of training recently. So that any banded movements and mobility work is really helpful. Um, and these are good for just keeping tension in that area. So the pump after this was, was good, really good. Um, definitely worth getting some bands to implement this movement into your programming like I said, just for shoulder health and because it's good for hitting them rear delts. And then we did some EZ bar curls. Um, annoyingly, the session yesterday was supposed to be done today on Saturday. And when I do the legs for the second time on Friday, but I'm playing football today. So I've tried to rejig my program a little bit and I've kind of pulled out on the second leg session. Might do it tomorrow, might not. I'm gonna see how my body feels. Um, but I will definitely still try and get the deadlift in at some point because that's the main movement in that leg session that I don't want to miss out on. And then the conditioning from yesterday's session was completely brutal. I've just shared on social media, so you've probably already seen it already, but I did 15 seconds of dead mills. So on here, you literally just put the emergency stop button down, hold on as hard as you can, and then literally try and move the treadmill around as fast as you can. To make it easier, put it on an incline, and it makes the movement easier. But yeah, that's awesome for the legs and getting the heart rate really high. You can do them on their own, or you can do what we've done here, and we've made it like a, a circuit. So we went from there into 10 medicine ball slams with a 12 kilo medicine ball, banging them out as hard and fast as we can, and then grabbing the ropes and hitting 30 reps with both arms on the battle ropes. And this got me completely smashed. Three rounds of this, and I've done him. Um, hopefully we get some cool video footage from this young man here ready next week for you all to see but that is the end of the commentary guys i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in tomorrow's video